Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Google Translate, and I'm gonna show you on this website here, but they do have a bunch of different ways to do this by using a Chrome extension, for example. They do have apps for Android and iOS, but the simplest way to do it is go to translate.google.com, and I'll put that in the description below so you can just click it, and once you go there, even before you sign in, this is exactly what it looks like. And I wanna kind of walk you through the interface and how it works. So you could type in here or paste any text over here and it will translate it to the language of your choosing. At the time of the recording, there is over 104 languages here to choose from on both sides, from typing it in on the input side and getting the translation on the output side. So that's the text option right here. Next to it, you have the document option where you could bring in any docs, maybe a Word doc or a PDF or even an Excel or a text sheet and browse from a computer. So from your computer, you could upload it and then do the translation. So on the text side, let me show you exactly how this works. So you could either type it in, but in most cases, you probably have it somewhere else, maybe on a different website, maybe on a messenger app, on your social media. You have to just go over here and then go ahead and copy it. So edit, copy, or you could just go ahead and right click here or control click and copy and then bring it over here and then we're gonna go ahead and right click or control click and paste. And right now I left it on detect the language automatically so I didn't have to choose English for it to be the English version and then you could see what the translation is. It's on English so I have to change it over here. Let me choose Spanish and just like that it translated from English to Spanish. If I chose Arabic, it would do the same thing in Arabic. And all these other languages here that are part of your options when choosing the translation. So if you chose French, there you have it. Now, you could simply go ahead and copy the translation over here if you wanted to respond to someone in that way. Or you could suggest an edit if you know this language. And you could press this to listen to it out loud. Merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé. Veuillez donner un... So now let me go ahead and put in French and then I'll leave it on auto detect again. So let me go to this French website and let me go ahead and paste a little bit of text here. I'm on a Mac here, so I'm gonna press Command C instead of right clicking and copying it and bring it back over here. And this time I'll just go ahead and press Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. And then I'll get the translation again from French detected and then I'll have to choose a language here. So let me choose English in this case. You could always search the language up here. So I'll choose English. So now it took it from French to English. And then again, I could copy it or I could share this translation as well via email or Twitter. And the listening is on the input and on the output side as well. Another useful tab here is this one where it swaps the language. So you could basically bring the output here to be the input and then swap them that way. You could always favorite a translation, so you could start a translation here, but that requires you to sign into a Google account. I'm not signing at the moment. And you have your history. If you press this, it's gonna show you all the translation here and you could clear history if you don't want it to appear here. And another notable thing here is when you choose a language here, when you go to English, for example, you could basically press turn on voice input and then speak exactly what you're gonna say here. So right now, it's gonna try its best to listen to what I'm saying and do the translation right here in real time as best as it can. So let me go ahead and press stop. And as you could see, right now, it turned it from the English words that I was just saying to French and whatever language I could choose here, it will translate it to that right away here. And here, if you press this, you have a virtual keyboard if you want, and you could type in in English or the language that you chose here. So if I have Spanish, my virtual keyboard will look a little bit different here. And if you wanna bring a whole document, I don't believe you could bring a whole book, I believe there's a limitation to this, but you could bring in as much text as you can in a Word doc and all these options over here and upload them and have them do the translation exactly the same way. And it is definitely not a hundred percent, but it's as close as you can get for a free translations. There are other services that if you're using this for a professional reason, like a rev.com, for example, and I could link that in the description below where they do foreign subtitles and things like that, that are created by humans instead of created by machines, which is what Google is doing with Google Translate but I hope it is of benefit to you. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow videos just like this one and I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.